Hello guys, this is Miss Ana Luisa Bermea and we're in fifth grade. So be ready, today we will work on language. Okay, we will need our pens and our notebook. Okay, the class today's agreement would be in half. Okay, you have already learned that the verb be and have can be used as main verb or helping verb. You have also learned that a verb and its subject must agree in number. You must change the form of the verb be and have in special ways to agree with their subject. Okay? Remember, if the subject is singular, we use the singular form of the verb. If the verb is plural, we use the plural form of the verb. Now, we will work with two verbs, be and have. Pay attention and copy the next chart on your notebook. Okay, here we have the subjects, okay? I want you to pay attention. If the subject is I, you use the form of the verb be, am, and you say I am in present. But if you're going to write the same subject I in past, it will be I was. Okay, and then we have the verb you, that means to. You are, in past will be, you were. And we have the subject he, she, or it, or singular noun. That means he means Joel, she means Maria, is the dog, okay? If the subject is singular, you will use the form of the verb be is. He is, Juan is, she is. Maria is, or in past, Juan was, he was, she was, Rosita was, the dog was. That's in singular. Now we have the subjects in plural. We means nosotros. We are in present. We were in past. You, ustedes, you are. You were in past. They means ellos, or a plural noun. The students, the people, okay? They are, they were. Now, that's for the verb be. Now, let's see the form of the verb have. Now, we're going to use the same singular subject. I have is in present. I have is in past. You have in present, you have in past. The same for subject in singular or he, she, it. He has, she has, it has, the dog has. In past, you will use had. Now, the plural subjects. We have or we had. You have or you have. They have or they have. Always you have to pay attention to the subject in order to use the form of the verb. Okay. This chart must be in your notebook to complete the next activity. Okay, it says, which form of be or have in parentheses correctly complete each sentence? Remember, always look at the subject. Let me have a pencil here. Okay, so we're going to underline the subject on red. Here, number one is Jeff. Okay, Jeff is singular. Jeff is a talent gardener. Okay, so you will circle is with red and underline always the subject. The clue to this activity is to identify the subject, to identify if it's singular or plural. Number two. Is Becky, that's the subject. Becky, underline the subject. And we know that Becky is singular. So which is the form of the verb have do we use for Becky? Has. Becky has brought us this pumpkin. Now, here is a question. We have in parentheses are or is, but the subject is you. Okay? You Staying for dinner. Now, we know that you is plural. So, you will use the plural form of the verb 
are you? Okay, are you staying for dinner? So I want you to complete number four and number five and pay attention. First, identify the subject to get to know which form of the verb we are using. And remember to look at the chart. Let's continue with the next activity. Okay, it could be in the same page. Write the verb in parentheses that correctly complete each sentence. You will write these sentences in your notebook. Okay, let's read the example. Many fruits has have lots of seeds. Now, the same thing. Underline first the subject. It's fruits. And we know the fruit is plural. Now, we have two verbs in the parenthesis. Now, the form of the verb for plural is have. So, many fruits have lots of seeds. Okay, let's go to number six. Apple trees was where once tiny seeds. Now, we know that the subject is trees. Underline the subject first. And you notice that trees is in plural. So, we know that the word where is used for plural subjects. We where. Okay. Let me help you with two more. I has have seen big trees grown from tiny seeds. Now, we know that the form of the verb we use with I is have. I have. Okay. And the subject is I. Always underline the subject to identify which form of the verb used. Okay. Number eight. Our apple tree is are huge now. Now, we know that the word apple tree is a subject and we're talking about one. So... For singular, we use is, okay? And I want you to complete the rest of the activities. First, identify the subject. The subject is before the parenthesis. And then decide which form of the verb to use, okay? I want you to go to the next activity that will be on page 54 on your workbook clues. And it says, the underlined verb in each sentence does not agree. That means that it's incorrect with the subject. Rewrite this sentence correctly. Now, let's go to number one, and it has has. So that means that has is incorrect. But let, let's look, let's look at the subject, and we know that the subject is you, okay? Now, which form of has, the, which form of the verb have is correct? So we know that for you, we use have. So we'll write have you have you ever built a model airplane? Now, you will go to number two. The underlying verb is incorrect. Okay? I is building one now. Now, we know that is is incorrect. So, it's I am, you will write I, and then you will write the correct form of the verb. I am building one now. I want you to write the complete sentence, please, okay? I'm going to help you with the activity from letter B. It says, this living history presentation has eight errors, okay? In subject verb agreement, use preferring marks to correct the verbs, okay? Let's read. I is, now we know that the subject is I, okay? So is is incorrect. It's I am. I am Wilbur Wright. And these are my brother. We, we know that this is for singular and brother is singular. So it is incorrect. It is incorrect. R. Right, so this is. Okay, this is my brother Olive. We am is not correct because the subject is we. Always look at the subject. We. Sorry, sorry, guys. No. Sorry, I, I moved the screen. We 
are. So the verb is are. We are. We are the builders of the first airplane. We had a bicycle shop. The verb had is correct. Right here is correct. We had. You can go to the chart and identify that. We had a bicycle shop. That, because it's talking about the bicycle shop, is singular. That was. That was very successful. Okay, I had helped you with four of the verbs, so you have to locate four more, but always remember to identify the subject because if you identify the subject, you will know the subject is singular or plural, okay? And let's do next page. And right here, the page is already done for you, but I want you to identify the subject, okay? I already give you the correct answers. And the only thing that I want you to do is to write the activity, the verbs on red, and underline the subjects on red. Roger, flight, 555. We is the subject, so I want you to underline. I don't see my mouse. Right here. Okay. Here it comes. Here it comes. We, oh, I don't know what I, why it's moving. We is the subject. We have you on radar. We, it's again the subject, are re reading you and your request. Request is the subject. Has been reached. The weather. You is the subject. You are experiencing. So I want you to identify the subjects and underline them with red and write the verbs on red. And that will be it for today. And I will see you tomorrow on Zoom. We will have two Zoom meetings this week.